Sign of the Times, episode 42 and a half. A half because it's a middle of the week episode. One of the few times we've done that. From an undisclosed body of water featuring ducks. Water. And a forested area. And as always, business card of Casey Carlisle, whom I love. Sponsored by EQ Pro Wrestling. And follow me on my Twitter, but not literally, because that'd be creepy, Stomping Steve. My Facebook, my Form Spring, my YouTube, which you should watch, because if not, then you can't see this show, because it's on my YouTube. Picture of this broad here. More importantly, picture of Casey Carlisle, whom I love. And sponsored by the fine folks at Sidekick Comics, where you can get comics such as Aquaman, who is a legitimate superhero. He is. Talks to dolphins. He probably could talk to those ducks, because clearly those ducks are in the water. Aquaman rules the water. Now, if you don't believe me, you can ask Darling Nikki and take it up with her. She said so. Alright, so. I don't know what's going to happen this episode. Maybe there will be a surprise guest. Maybe the ducks will do something. Maybe the mosquitoes. Ducks will probably be back here. Any minute. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Aha! Tortuga Blanco! It is I, El Blanco Tortuga! Can you hear me? I can hear you. Oh, okay. Yes, I. Oh. Did I yes, very good. I am. I am back from the plains of Oaxaca, Mexico, where I have tapped into the power of one Sir Martin Cobble. He has taught me the way of the Kung Fu Cobble Grip. Yes, that's Cobble Grip. Yes. Now is that kind of like what a turkey does? Cobble, cobble, cobble. He has uh, let out a turkey. Oh yes, or a gobble. Yes. Martin Cabo, yes. Wow. From the plains of Oaxaca, yes. Now, it's not just like extraordinary Oaxaca, it's just the plain Oaxaca. The plains, yes. And, uh, sign guy, I, uh, El sign guy, I hear you were talking about the four mosquitoes. Might they be Bingo, Bango, Bongo, and Irving? In theory, yes. Wow! <laughs> Indeed. So, Tortuga Blanco, what brings you to this neck of the woods? Literally, is there a wood surrounding us? Yes. I got a call from Coach Mike Jones to come up here. He paid my per diem, uh, along with Martin Cobble. And to, and to a lesser extent, Lori LaSalle of Vancouver, Washington, and Sandra Hughes of Olympia. That's Sandra Hughes. Now, is that Olympia Beer? Does she work for the beer company? Senora Sandra Hughes, and yes, she works for Olympia Beer, yes. Very interesting turn of events here. Hi! Let me demonstrate my Kung Fu cobble grip. That's the farthest a shot put has ever been thrown on a single episode of The Sign of the Times. Yeah. Ever. Ever. And Lila, Lila Lo Watt Lodge wishes <laughs> she threw that far, yes. So, if this broad's watching, I didn't say that. Take your beef up with Tortuga Blanco. Yeah. And Stompin' Steve, I know you're irate. Your blood pressure is shooting through the roof. I'm going to get messages over this. Direct your hate mail to one Tortuga Blanco. Blanco. The white tortoise. The, the white tortoise, yes. Yeah. Yes. Now, Tortuga Blanco, have you anything else you could throw? Say, a, a discus. Yes, I might have a discus in that uh, box of tricks, yes. 
Much like Kerry Von Erich with his discus punch. In theory, yes. That's the farthest a discus has ever been thrown on the sign of the times ever in show history, all 42 and one half episodes. Yes. There is no prize for such thing, but yet the record remains. Yes. I will I will dip my toe into the fountain of youth. Wow, how did that feel? Rejuvenating! Now can you swim out here to the ducks? And ask the ducks how they do. No, come on, just a paddle over there. I, I'm definitely afraid of water. You just stepped your toe in it. That's true, yes. And you're made out of mostly water. True, 98% water. So how scary could it be? It's very scary. I'm on the edge of paranoia right now. Yes. Wow, that would be a great name for a town. It's like I'm almost facing Ox Harley in the ring, and it, and he's so <laughs> so over the edge. Wow, that rarely happens. That or Dylan Bostick. From what I hear. Wow. Senor uh, Dylan Bostick. So if Dylan Bostick of OVW is watching, take your beef up with one Tortuga Blanco. Yes. Now, may I ask why your tape is on backwards? Well, it's it's a reversible tape, yes. Much, much like our economy. Yes. Fascinating. Well, have you anything else for this episode of the Sign of Times? Unless you want to go out and swim for some ducks? Turnbuckle Turmoil is the number one rated blog talk show in America. And there seems to be someone in the area who thinks his blog talk radio show is better. Yes. I'll challenge that guy any time to a shot put in discus competition on the plains of Oaxaca. Yes. And it's not Martin Cobble, though. Or Sandra Hughes. Yes. I'm gonna guess it's Crystal Rosa. And you just challenged Crystal Rosa to a street fight. Street fight, yes. Crystal Rosa, take your beef up with one Tortuga Blanco. I had nothing to do with it. Yes. Well, who are who are other uh, Block Talk Radio hosts in the area? You got J.T. Evans, kinda, sorta. J.T. Evans, yes. Kinda, sorta. Very good. Uh, Stevie Jonak. Stevie Jonak. Who yes. can walk. Stevie Jonak can walk. Yes. Said it herself. She has hair like a Mexican peacock. Yes, a wild peacock. Ah. Stevie Jonak, take your beef up with him. Send Darth Card after him if you must. Although I mean that in the highest respect. Yes, highest regards. In theory, yes. Wow. So obviously he's challenged Crystal Brosen and Stevie Jonak to a handicap match. Take your beef up with him. Any other radio shows you can think of? <laughs> uh, none worth mentioning. Probably. Yeah, none worth mentioning, yes. Yeah. So, um... Seriously, are you going to swim out to a duck? Because they're waiting for you. Oh, that thing! No, you can catch that one and out the distance, I bet. In probably eight seconds if you swam. They're all male ducks. I'm only interested in the female ducks. That's the most scary thing I've ever heard on a single episode of The Sign of the Times. Yes. That's frightening, and probably against the law. Say, hey, do you have a Twitter account? I do. I can snap pretty good, huh? Actually, Listen to that resume, yes. Perhaps you have a Twitter, so that one may follow you, but not literally, because that's creepy. Yes, Stop that's true. Steve. Hear that, Doc? All right, so, we've set records. Probably going to get sued. <laughs> Very long distance, yes. Anything else? Not that I can think of, no. Well, then episode 42 and a half. Woo! Woo!